Hi, this is Claire from Verity Papery, and today I'm just going to be making a quick video, hopefully quick, um, on a neat trick that you can do with some uh, adhesive pearls. Um, okay, so what I'm doing, I'm using right here, this is just some cheap um, like dollar pearls that I got at a craft store, and um, the color, I mean, since they're cheap, they're just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but they don't... Um, they don't look as nice as, you know, one's a little more pricey. Um, but there's something that they're really good for. So what I'm going to... I'm actually going to show you. Um, before I do this, I like to um, get the adhesive off of the back. Just because I can create problems later. So I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and do several of these while I'm at it. Um, so what I'm going to show you actually is a really cool way to kind of customize your pearls. Like even if you have like pearls that are, you know, better quality and they're just not the right color, this is just, um, what I'm going to show you, this is just a perfect way to kind of use those up. Um, so I'm just going to actually just stop right here. Um, so it doesn't take forever. All right, what I have right here is nail polish. Um, so this look that I'm going to do is going to, um, it's kind of trendy right now, or well, it seems trendy to me. I'm not exactly sure if I'm on trend or not, but, um, to use the my mind's eye, like enamel dots, enamel dots. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I don't know if they're like flexible or not. I'm not sure, but anyway, they kind of like, they don't look like the, you know, these kind of pearls, not the kind of, like, the pearlescent look, and they're not, like, gems, or they're really shiny. Um, it's a really interesting look. So, um, I actually was inspired by this picture I saw on Pinterest. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, um, I saw a, a picture on Pinterest of someone who had, like, painted their thumbtacks with nail polish, and this is like all messed up, but um, I, at first, when I first saw it, I thought it was the enamel dots, so I looked at it, and I was like, oh, it's just like thumbtacks, I'm like, well, this, I could, you know, do this on, um, like, some old pearls, so, that's what I'm gonna do, um, and, okay, so, I actually don't use nail polish for my nails, I never really wore nail polish, um, so I, <laughs> I actually went out and bought nail polish specifically for this, um, but anyway, I just got some cheap nail polish because um, I was talking to a friend that uses it and she says the higher, the more expensive ones, the ones that stay on longer and you know, I don't really feel like it's an issue for card makers to have like, use high quality nail polish on their pearls because it's not like you're going to be, they're going to be undergoing a lot of wear and tear. Anyway, so it's kind of messy, but that's okay. If you want the, the the covering to be really consistent and like thickish you can just wait for it to dry and then do another coat um because sometimes one coat will will not cover it like completely you'll be able to see a little bit of like white or whatever colors underneath um okay so the reason why i took off the adhesive on the bottom is because it would kind of stick to the back of the pearl and then the pearl would take longer to dry and it just kind of get in the way so I just took it off. Um, so that's um, the pearls. I'll show you ones that I've already done. So I don't really know if you can tell that well in here. Let's see if I can get a project maybe linked up in the video. Um, Know where I put it. Okay, this project. Here's one that I um, just used yellow on, so. That wasn't the project I was going to show you, but that's the one you got shown. That sounded like something from Batman. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the technique. Um, I wait for them to dry for a little bit. And then I will kind of like take them out of their little puddle, kind of scooch them away, just because I don't want them to dry with the surrounding stuff around them. 
we'll give them a kind of funky edge. So I kind of just push them out. I'm just using like a this is just a little pin. And yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Oops, I just accidentally scraped that one. Okay, I'm gonna have to give that one a second coat. Yeah, sometimes I'll accidentally like scratch them and then I just give them another coat and then they're good to go. Okay, so um, that's the way to do enamel dots. Um, all right, uh, I hope this was interesting and if not, at least entertaining, I guess. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. God bless, bye.